Hey guys, it's Jan here. So wasn't it amazing to see Leonardo DiCaprio get his long-awaited Best Actor Oscar for The Revenant? It's been a whopping 22 years since his first nomination for Best Supporting Actor in What's Eating Gilbert Grape in 1994. And through the years, he's also picked up Best Actor nominations for The Aviator, Blood Diamond, and The Wolf of Wall Street. There's certainly no arguing that his performance in The Revenant was truly remarkable, but did you know these eight incredible facts about the Academy Award winner? DiCaprio almost turned down the role of Jack Dawson in Titanic, because according to director James Cameron, he didn't feel the character was dark or tormented enough. In fact, around that time, DiCaprio met with director Paul Thomas Anderson about starring in his movie Boogie Nights, though he ultimately decided against making that film, which he's since said is one of his biggest regrets. DiCaprio's choice of Titanic over Boogie Nights catapulted him to fame and led to Leomania across the globe, including in Afghanistan where barbers faced jail for giving men Leonardo-inspired Titanic haircuts. For DiCaprio, The Revenant, which brought him his fifth Oscar nomination as an actor and his first win, was the toughest film he's ever made. To play 19th century fur trapper Hugh Glass, who was left for dead by his colleagues in the wilderness, DiCaprio had to be buried in snow, eat raw bison liver, sleep in an animal carcass, be naked at temperatures of minus five degrees, and dive into a freezing river wearing furs that weighed close to 100 pounds when wet. No wonder he suffered several bouts of flu during filming. On top of that, weather conditions during the Canadian shoot were extreme and ranged from minus 25 degrees to the warmest winter in over 20 years, which eventually meant the entire cast and crew had to move to the southernmost tip of Argentina to find the snow they needed to film. DiCaprio very nearly missed out on his first Oscar-nominated role in What's Eating Gilbert Grape because initially director Lassie Hallstrom wanted someone less good-looking. But DiCaprio's audition to play mentally disabled teenager Arnie Grape convinced Hallstrom that he was the best choice to star as Johnny Depp's on-screen brother. By the way, one of the actors DiCaprio beat to the role of Arnie Grape was Christian Bale, who also lost out to DiCaprio in the movies This Boy's Life and Titanic. Bale almost lost out to DiCaprio on the lead in American Psycho as well, until that is DiCaprio decided to pass on the role. As a child, DiCaprio had mild obsessive compulsive disorder, and his Oscar-nominated turn in The Aviator, playing the filmmaker and billionaire business tycoon Howard Hughes, who suffered from severe OCD, brought back DiCaprio's own compulsions. Before he made The Aviator, DiCaprio says he was able to reason with himself and talk himself out of his OCD tendencies, but to get into character during filming, he deliberately let his own mild OCD get worse. For example, when walking from his trailer to the set, he'd often have to go back, step on a mark on the ground, touch a door in a certain way, and then walk out and back in again before he could start filming. DiCaprio, who's a big scuba diver, fell in love with the Central American country Belize after he swam its barrier reef in 2005. Shortly after that first visit, he bought a 104-acre private island called Blackador Key, which is just off the coast of Belize and cost $1.75 million. DiCaprio plans to build an eco-conscious resort there, which aims to open in 2018 and counter the effects of deforestation, overfishing, and coastal erosion on the island. In 2015, DiCaprio was named one of the world's top 200 art collectors, thanks to his love of collecting art and vintage movie posters. But DiCaprio doesn't just collect art. In 2013, he combined his interests in art and environmentalism to organize a charity art auction, which raised over $38 million for conservation projects around the world. It's hardly surprising DiCaprio grew up to be such a lover of art, given that his parents named him after the renowned artist Leonardo da Vinci. In fact, they chose the name after his pregnant mother felt baby Leo kick while she was looking at a painting by da Vinci in Florence's Uffizi Gallery. As well as art, DiCaprio also collects fossils, a hobby which goes back to his childhood love of spending time at LA's Natural History Museum. DiCaprio's favourite animal is the tiger, and the Actors Charitable Foundation has given millions of dollars to help these endangered animals in the wild. In fact, in 2010, he travelled to Moscow to take part in a big conference on tiger conservation. But the journey turned out to be as dramatic as one of his movies, when one of the engines on the plane he was travelling on blew up, and the pilot had to make an emergency landing. As if that wasn't bad enough, the weather was so bad that the second flight he took to Russia had to make an unscheduled stop in Finland to refuel. DiCaprio's love of the great outdoors is seen in face of few brushes with death. 
First, there was a time he went diving in South Africa and a great white shark managed to get halfway into the cage he was in. According to DiCaprio, the shark's mouth was snapping away just an arm's length above his head. Then there was also the hair-raising time when he did a tandem skydive and the parachute failed to open. And when his skydiving partner opened the second chute, that was tangled up as well. Fortunately, in the end, they were able to unravel it and they landed bruised but safely. So guys, what's the most incredible thing you've heard about Leonardo DiCaprio and what's your favourite movie he starred in? I'd love to hear about it in the comments below. I was delighted to also see the fantastic Brie Larson win the Best Actress Award for her performance in Room and I'll have a video up about her very shortly. I'll add the link here as soon as it's ready. If you enjoyed this video, I really appreciate your likes, shares and comments and do subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Yippee-ki-yay movie lovers!